Well, I'm filming this on a Friday. Where's the week gone? They come and go at will. Wish I could slow them down. I wanted to do a 10 day. I say 10 because it's not quite 14. Monday will be 14. But I wanted to get a quick review out there for those of you that uh, will be setting up Starlink and those that are thinking about it. As you know, I have multiple internet carriers. I need it for my job. I have a primary GCI here in town and then AT&T that I was using at the cabin. Um, the cabin with AT&T gave me redundancy here in town. So my plan is to have redundancy through a cellular AT&T and Starlink. And since we burn so much data, I here in town, we're at the house, we what we have two TVs streaming 4K sometimes. Um, it's just the way it is. She wants to watch something and I want to watch something else. Um, usually at night. We both work, she's working part-time through a VPN. I work full-time, 8 to 12 hours a day uh, with a VPN. I have seen, from a VPN side, no problems. Zilch, none. Is there some side effects? Yeah, um, with the satellite, Starlink, you're going to have some interruptions. Just when it switches from satellite to satellite, um, latency, certain, certain things in the PC world or computers, latency is a killer. Um, some apps do, do not like it. With that, I work with a VPN from Anchorage all the way down Texas, New Mexico, California, Oregon, Washington, Montana, and of course up here in Alaska. My job demands good internet. So take from that perspective, it's, it's important to me. And I'm, what I'm going to say is it's good enough. It's, I've had latency with GCI. I've had caching problems, streaming with TV. It happens to all of them. So am I really upset that I see it in something that's going, I'll say, outer space, but it's probably the stratosphere. Am I really upset with the latency? No, it seems like it's somewhere around 65 to 75, to be honest. Usually about 65, 69 milliseconds. Good enough. And if, you have, if you're not techie and you wonder what a millisecond is, well, it takes a thousand milliseconds to equal one second. So when we get talking about latency at 60 milliseconds, we're, we're missing 940 of them to, to make it second. Gamers are very familiar with this, and they know it's a big deal. Um, speed is everything with the Internet. From a work perspective, YouTube perspective, I, I can, we're watching TV, she's watching TV, I'm streaming videos. I'll be watching videos on YouTube and uploading a video. Got one, two, three, got three computers here and she works sometimes four computers on the internet. So take it for what it is. We're, we're from an internet provider, we're one of these uh, households that are burning data. If you have kids, I'm sure you're going through the gaming and schooling and all that. You're burning data too. Um, and that's why I have to have the GCI Unlimited plan. I they, they make one that would be close. I forget what it is. It's one terabyte. And I think I could get by with that, but it's only like $30 less. And I'd get into the Starlink price, and I wouldn't have good internet at the cabin. I, the leaves and cellular, I, it's too spotty with AT&T and a cell booster. So Starlink solves a lot of problems. So that's my goal. I kind of, I'll touch on this and I got some screenshots and I'll be talking about what I seen and what we did and where we at now and what we plan to do with Starlink. Just a quick little, it's probably not going to be as long as me jabbering here. But I wanted to say I'm very happy with it. Um, I found I can do, even at five, if I have five up and five down, 
it's doable. Now, I say doable, the TV will have interruptions, but my work stays pretty solid. If I get below that, 5 megabytes up, and that's pretty low for most people. But I found uh, a lot of the streaming and stuff, you, you know, there's some of you that probably have uh, DSL and everything at that 2 to 3, 5, um, if you're rural, they, they have some of those plans. And you'll find that I... It's at let's let's just say it's at ten. If I sat here and just went on the app and said, "What's what's my speed test? What's my speed test?" I'll get eighty nine, a hundred, three hundred, five, thirty, fifty. It's constantly jumping every five seconds, whatever. It's all over the place. If you were to average all that out, it's pretty darn good. What you have to worry about is those peaks. Not the, the, I mean, the, the valleys, not the peaks. If it goes high and you got good internet, great. But it's if it dips below that five, that's when you're going to start seeing interruptions and slowness. With that said, the VPN, I think I said, was great. I do find if you're running Teams or uh, Discord or you're hosting, especially if you're hosting and sharing your screens, uh, you want really good connection that time of the day. You will get disconnected. It happens just about every... If I'm on the call for an hour or two, I probably get a disconnect once every hour. Now, most of them in that video call are probably 10 seconds. So is it a big deal? Not really. Not to me. It's um, It pauses and... I'd rather have those con once in a while disconnects versus a connection that can't handle the throu throughput constantly. In other words, it'll be garbled and choppy and people just don't want to even listen to you. They want to put you on mute. <laughs> can't talk. But so it's good enough. And like I said, I use this pretty hard. So I really highly recommend it. And I'm here in town. I'm in a hole. Um, I think if you line up your dish, well, it's a dishy is what they call it. If you line up your dishy, um, due north and you have good clearance to the east and the west, I don't know how much you need in the south, but I got a house behind me. I don't think there's many trees. There is no trees. So, but I still, from the southwest to due south, I have uh, obstructions, but everything else looks pretty good. And it's sitting on the grass in my yard. I got the greenhouse right next to it. It's 8, 10 foot. So it sees that, but there is an opening above that. Trees are, you know, 50, 60 foot tall. But there's a space, about 15, I'll say 15 max. It's not much. And you got leaves coming into it um, where it shoots to the west. So there's a lot of obstructions to the west. East is pretty good. Um, southeast is my house and due south is my neighbor's house. So, but it, it does pretty good. You play with it. The other thing is let it sit for 12 hours and map out the obstructions. But if you've got a big open field and you shoot towards the north, align it to the north, um, I think you'll be good. And I'm talking about the standard dish. I'm not talking about the mini or anything like that. I'm talking the gen, what is it? Gen three, the latest and greatest that's just came out it's got a kickstand and i know i'm in a hole um, when i say in a hole i have ham radio and my antennas have to get over some hills um the Naka valley and russian jack and and obviously east is towards the mountains but it i sit in a hole i know i do so i have a pole coming we're going to get it up higher and i expect better results but those are my takeaways it's um, If you take your time and set it up, it'll map every 12 hours. So I was moving it once a day, trying to figure what the where the best place is. And it's kind of like a puppy, you know. The wife wants a puppy, but the puppy attaches to me. Starlink's the same way. You want to put your Starlink in a certain spot, but it don't work that way. It's going to tell you where it wants to be. So well, I'm going to quit rambling. I've got some more stuff here. I'll show you some screenshots and talk about it. What's what we've done and where we're going.
I do want to point out, if you look at Anchorage there, the dark spot there, it does show it has a waiting list there. And as we scroll up north of Alaska to Fairbanks, they also have a waiting list for Starlink. I don't think this means it's unsupported. I just think their shipping is going to be delayed. So day one, we set it up out there at the cabin. And it ran pretty good. It was uh, probably in the 30 to 80 megabits per second. I brought it back into town and was surprised that it was tougher um, to get a good signal in the sense of this map you can see right now it started there was no obstacles we had to move it twice in order to find a happy spot because that when we first stood it up it was really really bad like 1.5 um, down and surprisingly 5 to 10 up but the obstructions were significant enough that we moved it again trying to find a sweet spot and the west side is completely covered by trees and a house and and then on the east side I have my house blocking it. We were able to move this to a spot that was how do I want to put it? It uh, shoots over my greenhouse to the west and into clear sky and when I say a spot it was probably 10 to 15 feet wide but it was enough to help and same on the east side my house wasn't we moved it out just in the yard out there where it had a clear shot to the east and you can see in the map up here um, to the southwest which surprised me that it could see to the south uh, especially with the angle it shows that there's some obstacles there and that would be probably my neighbor's house um, to the south but all in all I'm um, pretty happy with it. It, um, as you can see, it jumps all over the place. I've had 300 uh, here. Look, 15.9, and you can rewatch this if you want. Up in the top there, top left, there's the time of day. Now, one thing I have noticed here in Anchorage, first thing in the morning, about 7:30 to 8, somewhere in there, we must have a satellite passing over because it'll switch. This morning it was quarter to eight, and uh, the speeds are phenomenal. 200 plus but as time goes on 11 noon we're into this 30 megabit per second but all in all like i said so far uh it's been pretty good we got an, another cable coming we're going to bury one here in town and we're going to bury one up at the cabin and then we'll just move the power supplies as we go with it in fact the one here in town i may leave out I'd, i want to bury the one up at uh, the cabin just due to bears so what's my goal here well it's obvious to reduce my internet bill it's pretty spendy here in anchorage as you can see i spent 499 well you can see the 590 transaction that's batteries and a 50 dollar plan but we spent 499 and they did refund the 200 now that 200 I'm buying some uh, buying a flagpole and a wall mount and some extra cable but you can see my internet here just in Anchorage is 189.99 and then I have an AT&T MiFi which if I have to I can get rid of that too if eight, if the Starlink works well so I'm not sure what I'm paying a month for that, 45 I think. But I'm hoping to save a little money here. Um, I'm The 190 a month down to 150 is a win, big win. I was watching how our viewers were doing this with a mobile setup, i.e. constantly taking this setup, taking the dish back inside, transporting it, moving it from one location to another. And so we bought this flag, as you can see the flagpole, and the specifications can be found on Amazon. We also purchased, right out of the app, which I really like, this wall mount. Um, the yellow arrow is pointing to the piece that we will not need, the green we do need. And then we also bought a 150 foot 
of extension cable that will probably use out at the land because I can get a better spot position for that. And you also can get that with free shipping on the app from Starlink. It's the better way to go. So we'll put all this together, and I'm sure this stuff will all arrive within 10 to 14 days. And we'll try to get this all set up and do another video to show you what it looks like in both places. Well, I can't believe it. This was up here in less than three days. Got an email the next day it was shipped. And the day after that, it arrived. That's 150 foot of cable. That's a lot of cable. This is the mount. Get all your instructions here. You can see that's what it's supposed to do. It's mount to the peak of your house. But what we really need here is this piece right here. This piece will go in the flag bolt that we ordered. It's a little bit small, but uh, with a little shim, metal shim or some tape, uh, this will fit perfect. This, you also need this piece right here. All the rest is for mounting. That's screws and brackets for mounting this to the uh, house. So fortunately, maybe they'll sell a kit for just a flagpole and it'll be just these pieces. But um, basically this pole's going to, see if I can get it in there. It's going to fit like that. This part will mount to your dishy. So it's going to sit something like this, that if it's sitting straight up, and that's going to go in the flagpole. So... That's the way and I, I've seen some aftermarket type stuff that people are making and everything. But from what I've seen on the videos um, with that Camco flagpole, this is the way to go. So basically, instead of that leg, we'll take that uh, tripod leg on the, the dish off and we'll mount this and it will fit in both um, at the cabin. I guess I'll need two poles if I'm doing it that way. Either way, that, that leg that, that snaps on, this part sn snaps on and snaps off real easy. So, so this part will, you can see the tabs here. This will lock into place and so you can lift this out and then put your, your, uh, tripod leg or whatever you want to call it, the stand, I call it a kickstand. So I'll take the kickstand off, put this on, or take this off and put the kickstand on. Either way, it comes off real easy. So it'd probably be better if I got another pole. But we'll see how this works out first. We'll do the first one and we'll go from there. But yeah, less than two days. Yeah, less than three days. So that's pretty good. That's the fastest I've seen anything get up here to Alaska. That was fast. And it didn't cost anything extra. If you order off the app, shipping is, uh, there's no shipping. The price they give you is even up here to Alaska. They ship it for that price. And it was quick. So they don't mess around. I like it a lot. Hopefully it's worth it. And there it sits. That's where it's sitting out there in my yard. That's the angle. Let's see if you can see that little stand. That's all that little stand is right there. See how it just... It's not going to work in the winter. So that's why I'm thinking pull at each location. And I can't really mount it on my house. 
up high unless I had two dishes on the same account. Not sure you can do that. I think I'd have to have two. Hence, I need a retractable pole to take that dish off and take it wherever I go. That's the problem. I think this will work. We'll give you updates down the road. Till next time.